Hey guys! So today I did something a little bit different. I did a contest entry for Posh Papillon's um, 2011 Winter Christmas Look, and I obviously did a Christmas look. I have red eyeshadow and green eyeshadow, and then I also have like gold glitter on my eyelashes and gold lips, and most of the holiday tutorials that you see are usually like gold eyes and red lips, so I decided to switch it around and do the opposite. So it's something a little bit different, I try to be creative, so I hope you'll enjoy it. So when I think of winter skin, I always think of natural, glowing, sort of on the lighter side because you've lost your tan in the summer. So I'm going to use this brush instead of my normal foundation brush. So my foundation application will be a little bit lighter and will allow my natural glow to shine through. Then I'm going to follow that with concealer, and I'm using Clinique Lion Smithing Concealer. Then I'm going to use powder from Lancome. And I'm just going to use it in only the spots where I put concealer and the T-zone that gets oily. Then I'll go ahead and prime my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Now my first shadow that I'm going to use is the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in 8, and I'm using it with a concealer brush because it's a cream, and I'm just going to apply that on my lid. Now I'm going to take from the Colorista palette, I'm going to take this um, reddish blush color right here, a little bit on my e.l.f. contour brush, and I'm just going to blend around the edges of the red. Now I'm going to use some Urban Decay Cream eyeshadow in grass, and I'm just going to concentrate it in the outer half of the crease, and kind of draw a line down to meet my lash line. Then I'm just going to use a fluffier but small eyeshadow brush to blend that out. Okay, so it still doesn't look very well blended, but we're going to continue the blending process and we're going to pick up a um, green eyeshadow, this one's the darker green, and this is um, from a Lancome palette that I have, and I'm just going to take that on my contour brush and continue to blend. I'm going to pull the color from the crease upwards. So that brush I just used, I cleaned it off, and now I'm going to dip it into Half Baked from the Naked palette, which is right there, and I'm just going to dip it lightly and put it right in the inside corners. Then for my highlight under the brow bone, I'm going to reach into the Colorista palette, and I'm going to take this light gold right here 
with a large fluffy eyeshadow brush. Now for eyeliner on the bottom, I'm going to take this um, glimmer stick from Avon in the shade Emerald and I'm just going to line my lower lash line I'm almost um, to the edge. I'm going to stop where the pupil ends. So where the green liner ends, I'm going to take the lightest shade of green from the Color Used to Palette on an angle brush and I'm just going to work that into the corner and blend it into the green. And then for the top, I'm going to take that darkest shade of green from the Color Used to Palette and I'm going to wet my brush and apply that to the top lash line. And then go ahead and take that green color and blend it onto the outer edge of the green on the bottom. So it sort of fades on the bottom from darkest to the lightest. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. The mascara that I'm going to be using today is Maybelline Lash Tomato Voluptuous, which comes in this red tube. Then I'm going to take a clean spoolie brush and I have um, some glitter eyeliner that I'm going to be putting on the spoolie brush and I'm just going to try to get the tips of my eyelashes with a little bit of this gold glitter. So actually, I decided that I'm going to extend the green in my crease a little bit, so I'm going to go back to that green color with my contour brush and just take it up a little bit higher. Now I'm just going to take an angled brush and dip it into medium brown to just fill in the edges of my brow. Now I'm just going to go back with that powder that I used in the beginning and just sweep it underneath to kind of clean up the edges and um, take away any of the glittery fallout. Then I'm going to take my highlighter from Mary Kay. This is in pink porcelain. And I'm just going to use that same brush that I used for my powder. And I'm going to get a nice knot on there. And I'm just going to whip it in a C shape from your temples to your, um, through your cheekbone. So now for blush, I'm going to go back to that palette. And I'm going to use the blush that's in there. It's more of a red berry toned and I think it gives you a natural blush. So I'm going to take a blush brush and just swirl that down to the apples on my cheeks. Then from the color Easter palette, I'm just going to go to this shade right here because it has just a little bit of shimmer, but it's not overwhelming. And I'm going to take this brush right here and just lightly dip it in and just put it right on top of the highlighter. And then I'll just give just the right amount of shimmer. We kept the blush in the highlighter matte since our eyes are sparkly and our lips are going to be sparkly. And then we just, the um, other 
blush that I put on top of the highlighter. It gives more of a sheen than a shimmer, so that's why I use that. Now for the lips, I'm going to start off by putting concealer over them. Now I'm going to go in with this random paintbrush that I use for makeup sometimes. And I'm going to go to my naked palette and grab some of half baked. And I'm just going to pat that shadow along my lip. And then the light gold that we used for a highlight, I'm just going to take a little bit of that and pop it in the middle to give a little bit of extra dimension. And then, last, I'm going to take a lip brush and then I have some Ginger Mensa Lip Shine from Theo Bigelow. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the lip brush and it's that little fluff of gold which go right along with the gold shadow that we put on. And then I'll pop just a little bit more of the gold shadow right in the middle. And that's the finished look. Thank you for watching.